Right guys, welcome back to episode 3 of the Newcastle United career mode. So, um, I apologise for, you know, this being late and we we'll obviously went a day or two without uploading. It's just a busy time and we're going to be trying our best to upload consistently. So, looking last episode, massive win to start the season against Spurs. And then today we've got Cardiff and Chelsea and of course deadline day so we're gonna jump in um, we might not be making any <laughs> transfers doesn't look like we'll be making any but we're gonna jump in and we're gonna sim this game against Cardiff so here we go simming it against Cardiff a few new signings and that's not a good start at all Camarasa has scored straight away against us and um, Rafa, Lamina and Moreno all starting for us but we're not doing too much here we need to Kennedy scored we need to get something here lads we can't be losing to Cardiff or even drawing isn't that great they've missed a penalty and it's a draw after beating Tottenham in the first game a draw isn't fantastic but you know what can we do We've got another big game coming up, which we're going to head into. And we received a transfer offer for Freddie Woodman, which we're going to be accepting. And we're also going to be heading into this wee press conference here to prepare for the Chelsea game. A tough game, but hopefully we can get something out of it. And another offer for Woodman, maybe one of these will actually go through. Highly doubt it, but it would be nice if it could. It'd be very nice if we'll go through. That's something I think that needs fixed um, in career mode. And we're going to talk about this. Um, we're actually going to talk about that as we go through this game against Chelsea. So, <coughs> I'm sure many of you have seen the hashtag change career mode. You know, it's been doing the rounds recently. And it's really taken... You know, it's really getting out there, and, you know, I've watched a lot of videos myself, seen a lot of tweets, and, you know, really big career mode YouTubers, such as Chani Sports, Jared, um, you know, it's tough for them, and a lot of them have said, you know, if it wasn't for, I think it was Jared said, if it wasn't for his channel, really blowing up a few years ago he doesn't know if he'd still be playing career mode because today <clears throat> hold on can I? today it's very hard to get views on career mode and we're finding that and to be honest I would play ultimate team but it's working out what kind of stuff to do I know people do career mode or sorry ultimate team series Chani has a career mode and a Road to Glory Ultimate Team on the go at the same time and you know I watched the both of them but it's clear that well first of all he's had unreal pack luck this year you know it's a Road to Glory he hasn't spent any money on that particular account he's packed a lot of great players and he's a great FIFA player so he has a lot of coins you know he recently bought Ronaldo I watch him now, it's like, there's always something going on in his team. You know, he has foot champs every weekend. You know, I played it this weekend there, and that was my first time this year playing it. You know, I, can't, I don't believe I can consistently bring that interest and content. You'd be sitting watching my team being like, this is boring. And how have I not scored from that, lads? I don't know. But you'd be sitting watching it like it would just be clips of games, sort of way the career mode is. It's you know I go into games, but obviously within career mode, there's stuff to do. And ultimate team, I really don't know what personally I would upload. You know the odd clip of a few dev rivals games. That's it. I mean I don't think I would really be worth watching. Come on to the video and me saying, 
Right guys, here we're playing some Ultimate Team today, playing a bit of Div Rivals, and that's it. You know, there needs to be really something <coughs> else to do. You know, maybe pack opening some gameplay, and, you know, I would try to do that, and that's unlucky, but I would try to do that. But actually, I wouldn't be able to bring that consistently, you know, all the time. So, you know, it, it's just not something I'd be able to upload. Whereas career mode, I can sit down every day. Now, the day there, I didn't upload, I was just busy. And I nearly wasn't uploading today. I've been out all day today again. Today, and I believe it was Friday, I was just so busy. Um you know, out all day. So, I really struggled to record anything. But it's handy to be able to sit down and go on to career mode, and I love career mode. You know, and... It's still clear, though, that as a, a new channel, the career mode is not going to grow this channel massively we're not gonna gain thousands of subscribers we're not even gaining hundreds of subscribers by sitting playing career mode yes we're posting SBCs but it's a long process and we don't like, expect to wake up some morning and see 100k subs but you know, there was some progress for a while, and now it looks like it's just sort of hit a brick wall, and it's just sort of stayed at 30 odd subs, and yes, our videos aren't the best quality, you know, I'm recording this on an iPhone 7, you know, I can't put my face or nothing in either I haven't got an Elgato or anything yeah so this by no means is a top class channel but it's a building you know everybody started from the bottom you have to build up and career mode hasn't changed for the last few years and people by this stage are getting sick of watching it and playing it you know, I enjoy watching career mode, and I find it very enjoyable, but I see a lot of people who don't, and I do see how, yeah, this hasn't changed for the last couple of years, you know, what's actually in it that's special, nothing really, and even me looking into it, I can look into this and say... Yeah, I can name a few things that either need fixed or that you could add in. And I'm not stupid. I know we uh, are thinking ultimate time money. You don't buy anything on career mode. You know, you don't use your real money on this mode. But that doesn't mean that they should just absolutely forget about it. You know, with this game mode, it isn't even advertised sometimes. They will advertise, oh, what a strike. They'll advertise a new update, a new patch, or simply just the new FIFA that would come out in September. Career mode might not even be shown in it. People will have to assume career mode's in this. And the big thing this year was the Champions League and Europa League licenses. Quick lads, oh, Calero was out. That was the new thing. That was the big change in career mode this year. Other than that, career mode has stayed the same for the past four or five years. And if this was the first year, then it, maybe people wouldn't be so worried about it. If career mode was the same last year, as this year, 
but something new had been happening for the last three or four years, no problem. Take a year off, FIFA 20, bring something different. It hasn't been that way, it hasn't changed for a solid four or five years. In fact, all they've done is take things out. You know, they took out the ability to to request transfer funds. I know they've sort of replaced that this year, and only this year, with when you finish a league season. Oh, oh my. When you finish a league season, um, they will give you extra funds. That's cool. But there are just other things that the game just keeps removing. Like, we started off with, I believe, there was a time when there were 12 save slots for FIFA. Right now, we have four. You can have four career modes on an account without either having to go to a backup account or just overwriting a save. That's a problem. Another problem is the fact that every career mode is the same. And I have a habit of signing the same players, which I'm gonna try, what a save to Bravka, which I'm gonna try not to do in this, you know, in these series, but I could easily sign the same players in this career mode that I signed in the Wolfsburg career mode. If I done, you know, I do different career modes outside FIFA and there's only one that I generally enjoy every year and it's a Blackpool career mode and I can promise you now I will never ever record that career mode and upload it. I finished it for this year already. That's how good it is. I've played 15 seasons of Blackpool career mode since FIFA came out. And I will never record that and that is the reason because I enjoy it so much and it, it's just personal to me. And it's the only career mode to me that feels different from everything else. And I wouldn't mind doing a Road to Glory on this channel. I have no problem doing that. But it would be a different, um, you know, a different sort of way than the Blackpool career. Um, you know, another big thing that needs change is the fact that if you make a backup team, now I haven't got one here and I don't know if I will make one. It's not that sort of team where I'm going to be using backup team. Um, if I did have one, and this has happened to me, um, in other career modes, and it's, generally it's off-putting, um, you can have a backup team, and go to sim a game, and it will use your first time, and vice versa, you can go to use your first time, and it'll only use your backup team, it, this, this is broken, this game mode's broken, there's also a glitch right now where every player in your team or 90% of the players in your team will just go down one rating. Just for no reason. It started off happening in game. You would go right here, say Rafa is 80 rated. I could go into a match, pause, and he's 79 rated. You know, that needs fixed, and it's got to a point now where I've seen it in my latest, you know, career that I'm doing off camera. It's just happened even here on the team sheets. I'm doing a Liverpool career off camera. Van Dijk started 87, he's down to 86. In fact, he was down to 86 after me simming a week of the summer. I hadn't even played a pre season game yet, and. He had gone down somehow, along with a bunch of other players. <laughs> you know, another thing that needs changed is the transfer system. Half time you try to sell a player and he doesn't sell. And the loan. You try to loan a player and I know there's a glitch to fix that. 
if you put them on the transfer list after you've accepted the loan deal, it will go through. But you shouldn't have to do that. I don't mind it breaking down sometimes, that's realistic. There has to be a reason. You know, if you try to sign a player and he's injured for three weeks and the game comes back and says he failed a medical, well that's realistic. That's a reason to, do, to not have a player, you know, signed to your team. So, why not bring in new stuff? Why, you know, I think one of the things I'd love to see, sort of, you know, overall I think I'd call it a creation centre. You know, you have things like, well, I for one would love to see that you could, at the end of a season, create your own new kits for next season for your club. I think that would be cool because when you're playing, this is 2018, this game starts. When you're playing in 2025 with, say, I don't know, Liverpool, and you're still wearing the same kits from 2018, it's not realistic at all. If you could design your new kits and say you get sponsorship deals, you know, and you could choose, you maybe get three options from different um, creators, and the better you are, you know, if I'm managing Blackpool, I maybe get offers from Juma, or, you know, if I'm managing Liverpool, who are a lot, a lot higher up, I should be able to get offers from Adidas, Nike, and it's going to cost a lot of money to make. But the club has that money. And I get to choose colours. Which, okay. Maybe we need to have some barriers. So that people don't go and start making green Liverpool kits. And luminous yellow Chelsea kits. You know, for the home. They should maybe say, okay, your home colours are this. You can't change that. Maybe if it was Liverpool, you only have certain options, certain shades of red you can use for your home kit but as far as away, third, goalkeeper's kit all go, you have full control I think that will be cool and people have said about you know, creating your own club creating your own stadium that would all be cool as well you know, I'm, I'm not against any of that but it needs to be something big. There needs to be, I say, four or five, maybe even six major changes in FIFA 20. Because people wouldn't even know that there was two or three changes in this career mode. Right, we got the European licenses. That's one. Um, the club giving you extra money at the end of the season. That's two. I think people have noticed that. I notice when you get promoted into say from the championship to the Premier League the badges change and the or else from any league if you get promoted from any league your sleeve badges will change and also the name and number will change so the Premier League writing you know the font is different from the championship one it changes and of course they change with competition. If you go into Champions League, you will get the Champions League sleeve patches. Likewise with cup competitions. And that's such a small thing. Some people probably don't even realise that is in the game. You know, there's also the fact that if you win the Premier League, you get the gold sleeve badge. And also, if you win the Champions League. Now, I thought it was going to be a trophy with the number in it. The way Liverpool or Real Madrid have, with a 5 or a 10 in it. Instead, it's a trophy with the year that you last won it. For instance, I won it with Blackpool. And I think one of the years I won it was 2024. And I had the ball on one arm and the trophy on the other arm with 2024 written on it. Now I won that trophy the next season 
And all that happened was the 2024 changed to 2026. I would think it would just be a lot better looking if it changed from 1 to 2. And eventually you're going to get to 5 and 10, hopefully. It's possible with a lot of clubs if you start big. There just needs to be something so that every career mode doesn't feel exactly the same as the last save you made. You know, you sort of go into career mode and you sort of think, you know what's going to happen. You know what players are good, you know who's rubbish. And you sort of sign the same players because you think, well, I signed him on my last career mode and he was great. And you want to try something different, but you know exactly who all the great players are. And that's another thing, the youth system doesn't help at all because... It just, it's broken. I mean, the max potentials, I've heard some people even saying just get rid of max potential and have minimum potential. You know, there are a lot of videos in this. In fact, I might link one or two of them down below, guys, because career mode is just a forgotten about thing right now. And I'm sorry that this episode turned into talking about the hashtag change career mode. And all we really done was play a match, nothing massive happened, nil nil draw. And, you know, I think anyone who played, or sorry, who watched till now, you know, thank you. I appreciate it. And just share this video. Watch the videos below um, from other YouTubers, share them, and hopefully in 2020, or sorry, FIFA 20, something big happens in career mode, because if not, people aren't going to play it. It's a fact, people aren't going to play it, and this isn't the only mode that is absolutely screwed at the minute. Any mode that doesn't make EA any money is screwed. You know, any mode such as pro clubs, they're all screwed. Because nothing has changed in those modes since they were brought out. In fact, career mode keeps getting lesser instead of more. And last thing... When you are playing, in fact, I want to see if it's happened in this one. It's happened slightly. Now, we're only two games in, so I'm not going to say too much, but there's an example there. Manchester United, crap as they are, as a Liverpool fan, I'm going to, you know, I will slag them out of the park. And also Arsenal as well. Two games. Maybe Mourinho's still managing United, you never know. They haven't won. They've drew and lost their first two games. Alright, we don't know who they've played. Fair enough. Maybe this career mode isn't the best example, but in other career modes, other YouTubers' career modes, you'll see teams are playing, you know, massive players on the bench. And Chummy Sports at the minute, fantastic YouTuber, check him out, he's got some great series, I've mentioned him a few times, he has a career mode at the minute, AC Milan, and Juventus currently in his career mode have bought Sergio Aguero, and they have Cristiano Ronaldo, so there's two fantastic strikers, yet they're playing some random guy, can't even remember his name. I would guess he's low 80s in rating, if even. They're playing him over Ronaldo and Aguero, and they're sitting bottom half of Serie A. Now, when they play you, they seem to play those great players, but they're not doing it in the simulations. They're not doing it when you're not playing them. And, you know, that's another big problem. The, the computer isn't smart enough. It doesn't change tactics or anything. There's just nothing interesting 
actually happening in this game mode anymore. Um, there needs to be big changes next year because sometimes I come on to career mode and I know what I want to do for an episode and other times I struggle to think how am I going to make this video 15 to 20 minutes long. I've already in two series, not even two, one and just the start of another, I've already put out two videos that were only 10 minutes long simply because I didn't know what to do and editing gameplay is a pain. I'm going to be honest, I hate editing the gameplay. Um, if there was something where I only had to play one game per episode, then it would be great because there's so much going on that I have to play two games an episode because otherwise you're here sitting listening to me talking and you're looking at a blue screen. That's all career mode is right now. A blue screen. So guys, as I said, share the videos, you know, check out the ones I'll link below. I'll link Chani's and Jared's um, and just look out for the hashtag change career mode and hopefully something changes in FIFA 20. So I appreciate anyone who's made it to this video, to the end of this video and I promise the next episode of the Newcastle career mode will be a proper episode and I'm sorry this one turned into one of those change career mode videos but I felt like doing a career mode series with it looking like it's going to be our main content for a while it was only right to make a video regarding the hashtag change career mode so thanks for making it to the end of this video guys really appreciate it and see you next time cheers